Welcome to Anaheim Media Production, also known as AMP or AMP. Also known by the Greek letter pi, is a constant value used in math, which is 3.41, 159, and it just keeps going on and on. Not only that, but it's the 14th of March. It's also Albert Einstein's birthday, so all together is nothing short of a mathematician delight. There are some stores that recognize this lovely day at 7-Eleven Rewards. Members can get a whole pizza for 3.14 today. Limit two pieces per member. At BJ's Restaurant, you can slice your pizza budget in half and get 50% off on any large deep dish or tavern con pizza. The offer is only valid online through the restaurant site or app. Use promo code half off at checkout. At Blaze Pizza Rewards, members can get 11 inch pizza for $3.14 today when they use the app. Check the website for participating locations. And at Pyology's Loyalty Club memberships can get $3.14 times their rewards points today. I'm getting hungry just thinking about all this food. Right, let's start the announcements. We are your anchors for episode 114. Let's hear from Jacob and Kaylee. Before we start, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Thank you to Jacob and Kaylee for delivering the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes, thank you both. Now on to what's the move. Come celebrate 125 years of Anaheim history with us. There will be food, tours, student performances, and a 1998 time capsule reveal. It will be on Thursday, March 16, from 5 to 7.30 p.m. COVID-19 rapid testing will be available at Anaheim High School Mondays in this month on March. Testing will be located in the Community Schools Resources Center, room 65, located in the corner of Citron and Cypress. Anyone is welcome. Please bring a valid ID. Hey seniors, have you ordered your Captain Gown yet? If not, order your cap and gown and graduation announcements online w.socalgrad.com to order during lunch today. Students, did you know that all food deliveries have been suspended until further notice? Wait, really? Yes. It went into effect on March 1st. All student deliveries will be confiscated and available for pickup after school. Oh, well, never mind then. Students, there are no food deliveries. I repeat, no food deliveries. Since March is the month of kindness, so here's an inspirational quote. No act of kindness, no matter how small, it is never wasted. And on that note, the winners of this week's raffle are, drumroll please, Amirani Vasquez and Dorothy Chap. Amirani and Dorothy, come up to the main office and claim your prize. Congratulations on turning in your community service to Thrively. Keep it up the good work. Show kindness this month and earn five-star scans by showing school spirit to be entered into the next week's drawing. Now onto Counselor's Corner. Are you thinking about going to college? Scholarships are a great way to give yourself a helping hand. Best of all, you do not have to pay back the money you earn from scholarships. There are many opportunities out there, but you can start your search with our scholarship newsletter. The first scholarship is also only for graduating seniors in the class of 2023. The scholarship is called Anaheim HS PTSA Scholarship. The requirements to be an, uh, is to be an Anaheim high school student. You must have a minimum of 2.5 GPA and you must plan to attend a two or four year university or vocational trade school. You must be a PTSA member and be active in the service to the community. The um, amount varies and the deadline is this Friday, March 17th. If you have any questions, contact scholarship.ahs.ptsa at gmail.com or scan the QR code. Seniors, don't forget to apply for the Anaheim Anani Association Scholarship. It's due on March 23rd, which is next Thursday and only eligible to AHS seniors. This scholarship is awarded annually to the senior students who display well-rounded backgrounds and academic extracurricular activities and pride in being a colonist. The requirements for this scholarship to be an NHS student must be a graduating senior class of 2023. You must have a biological sketch of includes academic records, goals, interests, community service and activities, hobbies and accomplishments. You must have two letters of recommendation. Letters can be a form, teacher, school, admins, employer, activity directors, and finally a photo of yourself, the amount of this scholarship value. Seniors, make sure you don't miss out on the great opportunities. Not on too close. 
NHS will be having a social on Thursday, March 16th after school. Join us for some games, food, and community service opportunities. Not on to Link Crew. Our staff versus student soccer game has been canceled due to the rain. It will be rescheduled to sometime in April. This will give our staff more time to practice so they can at least make a score. Now back to our anchors. Now on to sports. Boys basketball tryouts are tonight at 7 p.m. Remember to bring your shorts and sneakers. Today there will be a softball away game against Valley. Both GV and Varsity are playing and will be from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Varsity Tennis is also playing an away game today against Magnolia from 3 to 5. JV and Varsity Volleyball are having an away game today going against Magnolia. There it will be from 3.30 to 6.30. Don't forget to support your AHS teams. One last thing. We have a video from RSVP. Let's roll the clip. My name is Evelyn Alonso. I'm your student ambassador, and today I'm going to be leading you through our third summit. As you all know, that we had a lot of memories together, and today we're going to go through. What's a summit? So summits are assemblies where students get together, and we basically co collaborate and brainstorm to find different solutions to issues that we see on campus. September 13th was the day of our first summit. During that summit, we basically asked you guys what issues you want us to tackle, and then we got to work to find issues to find answers to address these issues. Like what? So the three issues that we saw on campus was we wanted to have a cleaner school, we wanted to have cleaner restrooms, and we wanted to have better food options. We then met with our admin team to figure out how we could address these issues. One thing that we started to do was contacting people like the food services team from the district and also starting conversations on having cleaner restrooms and also adding more shading structures to our school. On November 3rd, RZP also met up with the District Food Services team and we talked about what we wanted to see in our school and learned more about how their team works to get food not just in our school but in schools all across the district and in the Anaheim Elementary schools. Then we set a date for the taste testing on December 13th. We invited lots of students to go and try the new items, some of which were added to our menu. During the taste testing, the students that rated the foods were able to say anonymously. That way it was all truthful and was for the benefit of our students. After that, the District Food Services team took all that input and used it to find new items that we can bring to our school. What are those items? So unfortunately, some items haven't been introduced to our school due to food shortages. This can be seen not just in public schools, but just throughout the nation due to the COVID pandemic, but we will be seeing new items soon. This is how we tackled our concern over the food. As for the school restrooms, Mr. Calleros already previously was looking into getting dividers for the boys' restrooms. And with a few conversations and looking into the cost with the district, they've already been ordered. Although they've been ordered and they're all set to go, I think we can all agree that one of the bigger issues with our school restrooms is how dirty they look. Graffiti, broken materials, stolen items, and trash literally everywhere. That's so common to see on our restrooms. But why is that? Obviously not everyone is to blame for this problem, but we all need to work on reducing it. This, this might sound super corny and dumb and not effective or something like that, but for real, we all need to report suspicious behavior that's going on in our school. It does make a difference. I swear I'm not being forced to say this or anything like that, but we need to be more proactive when it comes to issues like this. Hey, what are you doing? To, why are you not in class right now? So our next step says RZP is to involve all students, and that's in the form of a civic action plan. Go to your email and go to the email titled Summit 3-4, then write down three goals that you have to help address these issues. How can we as students help improve our school? Two easy solutions that we already kind of highlighted are cleaning up even if it's not your mess and reporting suspicious behavior on the summit. So we have successfully, successfully completed two of our RSV submits this school year, and we will need for you to do for our last submit is to check your student emails and fill out the form that was sent to you. What are you waiting for? Go find that email now and fill out that form. We are ending the announcements just so that you can do this. Yep, here's the end of the announcements. That's all the announcements we have for today. Remember to like and subscribe to Anaheim Media Production on YouTube and follow us on Instagram at anaheimhs.amp. And tune in next time on AMP. AMP.